All right, so like any other national park, when you see just a bunch of people <laughs> pulled off, you always pull off. And we ended up seeing a black bear. technically our third day in Glacier. The smoke is back again because it didn't rain this morning, which is all right. We're headed to St. Mary's Falls to hopefully get a parking spot and do that hike. We're hoping that it clears up a little bit, but it's not forecasted to at all. We're gonna make the most of it. It's still Glacier National Park and it's still absolutely beautiful even with the smoke. So. Just arrived here at Lake McDonald and we thought it would be pretty smoky but it's kind of clear like you're at least able to make out like the mountains behind it and the lake and stuff for coffee at Sable Coffee and they make a really good huckleberry mocha and so if you really want to go huckleberry crazy I'd definitely say try this this is the cold brew and then I added the huckleberry to it and it is so good all right so like any other national park when you see just a bunch <laughs> of people pulled off you always pull off and we ended up seeing a black bear um, at first we couldn't see him and then we just look at the water and it's like just his head his little tiny head just poking out you know he looks like he's using the water as like a hot tub or just a little cool little pool to chill in but, man it's always a good idea to stop off yeah that's so cool so now we've seen a grizzly bear a black bear a bighorn sheep moose elk wild turkey a wild turkey <laughs> bald eagle <laughs> So all we're missing is the dang mountain goat, which yeah. this is our last place to see one. So hopefully we see one today or tomorrow when we do the Highline Trail. For sure. I know Highline Trail, there's a good chance. So mm -hmm. we're hoping for tomorrow. Yeah, now we're gonna head up to St. Mary's. For real this time. We are on the Pigan Pass Trail, which will lead us first to Bering Falls, and then we're gonna continue on to St. Mary's Falls. We were gonna just do St. Mary's, but there was no parking anywhere near it, so we parked up by the uh, Sun Rift Gorge Trailhead. Yeah, the parking is pretty scarce. Unless you get here really early, or just kinda get really lucky, you're not gonna get a parking spot. I got my bear spray, this is a very bear aware hike. So be sure that you guys have your bear spray. Another really cool thing about this hike is the trails are actually all kind of intertwined, which is really nice. So you can like start on any of these hikes, like Sunrift Gorge or Sight Pass, and you can still intertwine with the other trails. water at the base of the waterfall next to the rocks which are like the red and the green and the yellow and the water is all that teal blue color it's so pretty it like all mixes together it's a really really pretty waterfall All right, so we ended up getting off of that hike we were just on. We realized that it was like 1.2 miles just to the trailhead. So we said, you know what, let's just go back to our car and see if we can find a parking space up at the trailhead. We were on the Pigan Pass Trail, and I mean, we knew how long it was gonna take us to hike to the trailhead, but we decided that we didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot. So, and it actually ends up working out because we're probably there two or three times as fast now than we will be if yeah, we were we on we cut hike. off like, what, two and a half miles, basically, of the whole yeah. trail. By just we can't hike that driving. fast, unfortunately. <laughs> So 
So this is where we parked up here and now we're down here. So we've gone about a mile almost. And then this is St. Mary's Falls right there. And then Virginia Falls is at the end down there. But we can hear St. Mary's Falls and we're close to it. So this has been a good hike, pretty easy. It's later in the day. This trail's still relatively crowded, but we're almost there. arrived at St. Mary's Falls. It is living up to the hype right now, definitely worth the hike, and we're super excited to kind of explore it and go around it. There's a reason it's one of the most popular day hikes in Glacier. It's really accessible, and um, I mean, it's really, it's worth the hike. It's definitely worth the payoff, what you get. The water is beautiful. It has that glacial view to it. And then from here, we're going to head on up to Virginia Falls, which is another 0.8 miles from here. Yeah, not too far. Make sure you have some protein on your hikes. Good old beef jerky uh, never fails. has something to say. You come across a lot of smaller waterfalls, but those are not Virginia Falls because we are not there yet. But these are really pretty. This is like a multi-leveled one. There's that little pool back there. It's very, very pretty. But we're still going up because we're not at Virginia Falls yet. We just made it to Virginia Falls. And it looks like a big fall, not like what we saw last time. I should say big fall. It looks like a taller fall. The taller fall, that's what this is. It's a taller fall. Yeah, this one looks a lot larger than St. Mary's. I honestly forgot what it looked like in pictures, so this is a good surprise. Yeah. This is really cool. Definitely come to point eight extra miles up here. For sure. It's not that bad. There's a little bit of an incline, but it's pretty easy. It looks beautiful, so we're gonna go check it out. down and then we're gonna head back to the parking lot and then we're gonna head home and get some food because we are both very very hungry and uh you know it's a good day of hiking i think we did close to 10 miles but that's gonna be it for this video today um i think tomorrow we have some really awesome hikes we might be hiking the high line which will be super awesome so yep we're, we're gonna do it no matter what we're gonna do it so stay tuned for that i guess evidently it is bear dinner time so um actually would be the snack i make sure she got taken first for sure <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, guys, have a nice night. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see we'll you in the see next, you in the next one. one. Hey, how thankful I am for my wife and how she pushes me to get through these hikes. I know I haven't been the best hiker, but she's pushed me through, and I think I've progressively gotten a lot better. And, you know, just as a couple, how much this helps us to, you know, bond and, and be together. It just really creates our relationship to grow and sets us up for better things I think so thanks again for watching you guys I appreciate it I hope, hope you guys can subscribe 